All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, before we get into the video, I got a couple things I want you to watch. Uh, one is flamethrower time. And next, we've got the scope rig that I set up. Just the little uh, things that we're going to be able to do. I'm going to take this uh, scope out from primary arms 1 to 10 with the uh, second focal plane SLX with the Nova reticle. I'm going to show you guys how it kind of works. And you're going to be, this is, is awesome because I can actually show you how the damn thing works. All right, guys, sitting out here. <laughs> this is actually my road, my street that I live on. But I'm just uh, giving you guys a, uh, a bullet point on what this thing looks like when it goes in. So this is the 1 to 10 scope, primary arms, SLX, with the Nova reticle. And it's on the new setup, so you can see how cool it is all the way down. I'm tracking that car right there. There's somebody walking their baby. And we can go ahead and bring it back out like that. Not bad. Excellent eye relief on this thing, as you can see. I can bring this in and out. On the mount right here, what we do is we have to bring it all the way into zoom and, and then find that eye box with the camera. But man, this thing's really cool. I mean, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the U.S. school shooting suspect 14 question about threats last year. And this is interesting because this comes directly from BBC. The interesting thing is, is, I'm not seeing it anywhere else, but my wife showed it to me. Let's read a little bit of this. A boy accused of killing four people at his high school in Georgia was interviewed last year by police about an anonymous, an anonymous online threat. The FBI has said Colt Gray, this idiot, uh, 14, denied to police. In May 2023, he was behind internet posts that contained images of guns warning of a school shooting. I mean, what... Here's the deal. The FBI and the police failed their mission to protect the human people. I, it, this is the kind of stuff that kills me. Now, of course, every, the, here's the thing. People going to, y'all do it. Jump out. They left this guy alone. And now, all of a sudden, here it is. Okay, this is some pretty sick shit. The suspect opened fire on Wednesday in the Appalachia High School in the city of Winder, killing two teachers and, and two pupils. Uh, eight students and one other were hurt. He was arrested on campus. Gray was charged with blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get into it, man. Yeah. And here's what we know. Uh, the news conference, Georgia Bureau of Investigation Director Chris Hosey said the gun used was an AR platform style weapon. Uh, yeah, I'm sick and tired of this. The FBI said its National Threat Operations Center had alerted local law enforcement in May 2023 after receiving anonymous tips about online threats to commit a school shooting at an unidentified location. And time the agency said within 24 hours, investigators had determined that the threats originated in Georgia. Uh, it keeps going on. I'm going to put the article down below. The uh, sheriff's deputies interviewed the boy and his father, who stated he had hunting guns in the house, but the subject did not have unsupervised access to them. The suspect was 13 years old at the time, denied making the online threats, and officials alerted local schools for continued monitoring of the subject. <sighs> at the time, there were no probable calls for an arrest or take any additional law enforcement action at local or state federal levels. So let me ask you guys this. Y'all, y'all tell me, I know what I do in my home, right? Yeah. I have firearms. My children know I have firearms. They have been given certain parameters when it comes to firearms. Okay. Uh, they have got Actually, they don't even have any interest in the damn things, which is amazing to me because I, Hey, you know, this is what I do. But the big deal is for me is that if you got a kid is just made this kind of these statements, you don't just have the FBI show up at your house for no good reason. Uh, usually it's because you're a, uh, a Catholic and you're sitting out in front of an abortion clinic and they label you as a terrorist, but you know, all these gangs and everybody, they can do whatever the hell they want. Right. <laughs> so again, thanks for, for yesterday. That was a great video. Um, it, this is sad. What would you do? I know that my firearms, when I'm here at the house, I have them when I'm away from my home, 
everything is locked away. Well, not only because I'm not so much concerned about my, my children going to school with one of these things, I am more or less concerned about somebody breaking in my home and taking it. Uh, with that, uh, that's it. Paul Harrell, rest in peace. This sucks, man, because this is uh, just another avenue that these people will use uh, to create more gun laws that don't do anything. Well, you got the gangbangers out there. There you go. All right, with that, uh, let me know what your thoughts are, okay? It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Big shout out to Callaway Ballistics, uh, Optics Planet. Who else? Uh, we got a bunch of people. Proof Research. Been dealing with those guys. I haven't talked to them in a while, but they did uh, provide the barrel for my rifle. So, with that, y'all be good. We'll see you. Do, do some shooting videos, right?